Good morning, this is Dwayne. Today I'd like to talk about reharmonizing the 12 bar blues. Let's take a quick review of what the 12 bar blues is. Uh, 12 bars, of course, means 12 measures. And here's the pattern. Let's say you're playing in the key of F, okay? The key of F means you're basically you're playing on the scale of F. But the blues usually uses a seventh chord. In other words, there's the F chord, which is known as the one chord, but we put a seventh in when we play the blues most of the time. So we have the one chord, and then we got the four chord, which is B flat in the key of F, and that usually has a seventh in it like that. And then we have the five seven chord. So there's three chords that we use uh, repeatedly in the blues. Let me just play through it without, uh, play the 12 bar blues one time through without any uh, reharmonization. Okay, so yeah, we played through the 12 bar, 12 measures, just using the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord, but usually with sevenths embedded in them, okay? Now, let me talk about reharmonization. You can reharmonize the blues to make it sound a little more interesting and, and put your own stamp on it. In other words, you know, bring your own personality out. So I'm gonna play the blues this time, but this time I'm gonna use some uh, reharmonization techniques. Let me talk about what those are. I played the one chord, and notice how I'm voicing it on the left hand. I put the seventh on the bottom, then the ninth, uh, the third, and the sixth. So I've got a, I've got a kind of a color tone there. And then what I did is I simply went up a half a step. I'm just taking that chord, that F seventh chord, and I'm going up a half a step to, uh, we can call it G flat seventh or. F sharp seventh. Anyway, anyway, it's just a half step higher than than the F seventh chord. And then I went up to the B flat chord and did the same did the same thing there. I played the B flat seventh chord with the seventh on the bottom. There's the seventh, the root, the uh, ninth the third and the, and the fifth. I could play the sixth up there, I guess. Then I went up a half step from that, which would be the equivalent of B seventh, right? And then back to B flat, and then I went back to F. Then I went like this, or something like this. Okay, really I'm staying on the F chord, but I'm walking up from F through G minor 7th, through uh, A flat diminished to F7. And then before I went to the B flat chord, I did a half step slide. Okay, in other words, what, what chord is a half step above B flat? I made it to B flat, so I played B flat, B 7th of some sort, right? And the way I voiced it was B, A, right hand, C sharp, D sharp, and F. And then landed on the 7th again. Now, there, I went like this, F went to E flat, and then I played D seventh uh, with a uh, flat third. That's the D seventh chord there, but I'm putting a, not a third, but a flat third on top to give it a little more of a bluesy sound. And then I went, uh, 
the D7 chord often leads to G7, and that's where I went. And then back to C7. And if you use just those substitutes, just a half step up uh, from the chord, from the basic chords, you can get some unique sounds. Now, there's many, many other things you can do, but that's just an idea or two about how you can add a, a form of reharmonization to the 12 bar blues. So, thanks for being with me, and we'll see you tomorrow with another little idea like this. So, if you haven't already come up, come over and sign up for our free newsletter and videos and so on, please come over to playpiano.com and sign up. Okay, so thanks and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.